Hello, I'm Whiter, I'm the Game Tutor, and today I'm going to be grading Child of Light, a platform role-playing video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal. While obviously a big-time publisher, this game has a strong indie feel, and it's all the better for it. Here I'm playing on Steam, but it's also available on most other platforms, and I think this game would actually do quite well on Vita if it managed to see the light of day. Child, tuck yourself in bed, and let me tell a story of Lemuria. A long-lost kingdom, and a girl born for glory. In Austria, the game puts players in the shoes of Aurora, a magical Aurora princess from the faraway daughter. land of Austria, of a duchess, which is odd. A child stolen from her home, who in her quest to return must bring back the sun, the moon, and the stars, held captive by the mysterious Queen of the Night. The storyline in the game is very much drip-fed, but it's kind of hard to follow, and it definitely plays second fiddle to the gameplay. The first thing you'll notice about the game is the wonderful watercolour visuals. Running on a modified version of the Rayman Legends engine, this is definitely a lovely looking game. If I did have to criticise it however, it would be that the locations, while beautiful, often feel a little sparse, but this is quite often due to the random nature of the battle mechanics. The gameplay in Child of Light is a bit of an odd one, a sort of Metroidvania RPG type game. The game starts the platform game and relatively quickly you gain access to the power of flight and this is when the game opens out. You also control a small blue sprite which you use to interact with the world around you and do other things in battle. This sprite can be controlled by a second player but obviously this game was made with one player control in mind. The one player control scheme however is a little bit of a pain. It works kind of okay on PC where you can use WSD to move and the mouse control the sprite, but getting this to work on a controller is pretty cumbersome. As you navigate the world and come across enemies, you enter battle sequences. These play out very similar to the way combat works in South Park and the Stick of Truth. You can also use your sprite in battle to either heal your party and slow your enemies. This works well and adds an extra layer to combat, but only for a while. As time went on, however, I found myself having to hover the mouse pointer over enemies and my party to be tiring and a little bit annoying. But overall, combat in the game is fun and works pretty well. And to be honest, it's one of the strongest parts of the gaming experience. As you progress through the game, you gain levels which give you skill points. These skill points can be spent on the game's talent trees. It's here where the game is at its weakest. There are three paths which are non-branching to each character and there's no real explanation or theme to each talent tree, largely made up of a load of minor and major skills. The buffs and skills are gained through these are uninteresting and dull, and as the trees are so long and the levels are gained so quickly, you find yourself having to go into the menu every few minutes to fiddle around, and this quickly gets tiresome and breaks up the action. There is also a gem system that works well, which is similar to the system found in Diablo 3 and the buffs achieved through this system are stronger and a little bit more enjoyable, or at least that's the way I found it. All in all, Child of Light is a reasonably fun game with some flaws that made me question the gameplay throughout. If you're a fan of turn-based RPGs, there is definitely some fun to be had here, obviously combined with the fact that it's a pretty beautiful game to look at. But to be honest, I found this game beautiful but shallow, and there are definitely better examples of the genre out there. Please remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video. And remember, new videos come up every Wednesday and Sunday. See you later.